Most average guys like me only ever approach a woman because we want to get laid. It's pathetic. Obviously, something has gone very wrong when young men these days talk about women like that's their only purpose in life. I want some cold gangsta shit. I might get blood out of any. The funniest thing about going to a nightclub is how desperate most men look. We're all looking around looking for some sexy girls, and when we see one, we realize that now I need to get more drunk because let's face it, without alcohol, you're a little bit of a pussy. I'll be honest, I'm definitely not the first one to make the observation that men are weaker than ever. Years ago, masculinity was about being strong, looking aesthetic, and being able to provide for your family. Greek masculinity was all about having intelligence, courage, independence, and loyalty. That was the standard. Now, if you make fun of another guy bicep, you're spreading toxic masculinity. What cool now is for men to show the feminine side of themselves. Let's be honest, if you pan your nails or wear dresses, you're definitely gonna go viral on TikTok. Look, back in high school, I was that anti-toxic masculinity guy for a very long time. Because back then, I idolized Machine Gun Kelly. I would pan my nails and start screaming about how clothes have no gender. My whole family thought I was gay. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with expressing yourself. But when you start to believe in all these toxic masculinity bullshit, Shit, you forget the basics of how to be a man. When I was more feminine, I feel sad and depressed all the time for absolutely no reason. I would get upset about the smallest things. Like when girls told me that I have a big forehead, I would think about it for the next two days. But now I'm like, who cares? No one asked for your opinion, stupid hoe. Story time, so one of my closest guy friends recently got into a relationship and before I got to meet her, he was telling me and the boys not say any inappropriate jokes in front of his girl because his girlfriend is very sensitive, blah blah. And I get it, you're in love, right? But first, we don't owe your girl anything. And second of all, why you care about it so much? She'll be mad right there. But then she'll be fine about it. And worst case, if she break up with you, just find another woman, bro. <laughs> I'm exaggerating things. But what I'm trying to say is that most men these days don't have the type of trait and characteristic that make a great man. Recently, I watched the new Batman with Robert Pattinson, right? And at the end, there was this scene where the man female character asked Batman if he wanna run away from Gotham City and start a new life somewhere. And of course, Batman said no. I know it's only a film, but that's inspiring. Like that's how a man should be. Be respectful of women, but don't put them on the pedestal. As a man, you have to embrace the hardship and challenges of life. Men are the one who go out to hunt and fight. You are not supposed to be comfortable. Then that's the exciting part about being a man. I don't know you, but the fact that you have Wi-Fi to watch this video means that your life is pretty easy. Unless you're living in Ukraine with a war right now, then that's my bad. You have it at heart. But for the rest of us, we're okay. We can curl up on our bed and watch Netflix all day. We all have our own struggles. Maybe you just got dumb by your girlfriend. Maybe you look ugly as shit. Maybe you're struggling more than me. But don't cry about it. The question really is whether you're gonna do anything about it or you're just gonna suicide. For most guys that are watching this, you don't need to learn how to pick up girls yet. Just clean your room and learn how to be a man, bro. Just man up is not a terrible or toxic advice. It just means that maybe it's finally time for you to display some of the inner strength that we've all been born with. I figured this out so now I'm straight up an egotistic, narcissistic, and misogynistic asshole. Whatever word that you can come up with, I'm all of that, but at least I have the courage to admit my flaws instead of pretending to be morally better than other people. I'm way happier now because I do whatever I want. I don't care about what girls think of my dance move in the club. Now I'm exclusively only do and say things because I want to. And take my word for this, life is easy and nothing is that deep once you figure out how to just not give you a fuck. Can't I just die here on the beach with my fingers in the sand and the water at my feet? Can I just get some release? Yeah, everybody falls off the tippy of they tall talk, don't come and talk to me. I ain't trying to see fear reflections in my rear view, deflectors in my purview, coming after me. Got some issues with my worldview, I ain't not the kink, I ain't trying to be kink, crime.